Um, hey guys, what is up? Spider-Man TC here back in action, and today we are here at, with some more Chrono Blades. I don't know why I just like to say that in a funny tone. Um, it's a beast of the um, so basically, today I will be talking about a quick little method that I've been noticing, and that is the column method, or the row method, I, yeah, that's more rows, um, the row method, where basically I will be going through the video, there may be a couple of instances um, of me showing it off, uh, simply because, well, that's what I do for most of my fighting, to be honest, like whether it's a tournament or just a uh, campaign, and I have no help boosting right now, so I actually have to watch what I do. Just use a tornado, and get out of there. Might as well use another one, and get out, get out, okay, there we go. Um, but so basically right now, as you can see, I am always sticking to the middle. That is simply because none of these monsters, or whatever you want to call them, mobs, um, can actually, I most of the time call them mobs, um, what, can, they cannot at all, they can't block. Uh, that's what I'm trying to say for the past 10 seconds, but they can't block at all. Um, so there's no need for me to actually stay back and be play defensive. Um, because, well, they can't do anything to, to play defensive. All they know is to be neutral or aggressive. Um, and if I, when I say neutral, it's when they just sit there and take a punch. Compared to right now, let me see if I can actually get them to hit me. Yep, there we go. Alright, he actually did hit me. So, Shame on you, you can die, um, but that's when they actually become aggressive, that's, these are not key terms, um, I've just been saying them and thinking about them as I go on, um, but so yeah, basically once you go up to higher monsters or mobs, um, which you will see later on in this video, um, you will notice me sticking to what I like to call the green areas, the green safe areas, which right now actually are perfectly green, uh, because it is the grass. Um, I like to stay away from the road simply because, well, this is where all the monsters go, as you can see. Even when I'm over here, they don't really like to leave the road. And uh, they can't go all the way over. So, there's always this, as far as you can go up and as far as you can go down, that is what I like to call safe area. Now, if you're playing dumb and with those safe areas, yes, they will be able to hit you, but there's a very, very rare chance that they can hit you if you're always moving. Um, that's another thing in this game, you always have to be moving guys, if you just sit here and are punching, punching like crazy, sooner or later there's going to be a spider or something that will be dumb and come and kill you, and I just picked up a sword, I have no clue what these swords are now. Um, but so yeah, these guys can't block, so I'm just going to punch them to death, as simple as that. Um, I like to take my chances on these guys, because well, they're very stupid, and now let's proceed onward where we will go to the next area and this is the Brofrost gate I have no clue what that means um, and I have not really been paying attention to this campaign at all and these guys I believe, I'm not sure if they can block either um, but I'll take my chances, I don't believe they can um, I believe the next uh, section I believe, I guess you could call it, section or area uh, they can actually be, they can actually block and use uh, power ups and stuff like that so I'm just gonna get a bunch of combos with this and kill all these guys. Cause I'm just, uh, to be honest, right now I'm just using my normal, normal attacks, um, and they're dying. As simple as that, because well, I have murderous, so every hit is like 200 to 100. Oh, I, I thought that was bad. There we go. Okay, let's pick up all the gold and stuffs. So there we go. Moving on. And here we are. Let's just kill all these guys really quick because they're very useless and pointless. And then I really, really want to show you guys what's going on. Um, I'll probably leave in a link or annotation or whatever to. Oh, okay, so these guys can block. Now is where they get serious, um, where they can also use power ups and stuff like that. So I'm going to be trying to dodge to the sides and stuff like that. And we're going to rock, rock punch and dive. That's another main key that I like to do is diving. Um, is diving is key to me, uh, personally, uh, simply because, okay, we gotta get out, and get out, um, is simply because, well, you're on the ground, if you're always jumping, you hit, and you dodge, you're up, and then you can hit him again, jump over here, hit him again, jump over here, and this is what I literally do during the entire tournament. I simply just go back and forth some from side to side, and wow, that was some nice hits. Let's get you away from me, and let's kill you. 
Um, those are some nice hits, but wow. Uh, and once they block, actually, they can either kick you or you can actually use your primary attack, I believe, um, to get them off, and they will stop blocking. And I'm very low on health right now, guys, so I have to be very careful. So I will be doing more of my row trick, um, especially seeing as though well, they can also do power-ups. As you can see right there, they just almost tried to do one on me. And let's see, do that. Okay. Stay away from me. Do not touch me. Use a ranged attack. And there we go. As you can see, I'm just always playing this edge. They will not ever touch me. Except for them. Okay. Because there's also a problem where it's basically like a cooldown, I like to call it. Um, where basically it takes time for you to get up like that. Like that. Right then. Uh, like that. Like that. There we go. Um, but so basically it takes some time for you to get up from the dives, which is a problem uh, But once you narrow it down, you can actually get it perfectly and I'm probably going to dive but that's perfectly fine because that's just, this is just a video I'm um, not actually trying to do it. I was just trying to explain the three col three column or row method method that is uh, So basically you always want to dodge to the sides and use the up the, the side uh, you want to dodge up and down and you always want to use the sides for cover. Okay, so there we go. Oh. Get away from that. Energy potion. Pointless to me. Very, very pointless. Alright, get away from me. Don't hit me. There we go. And power hit. And power hit. Okay, get out of that. I'm probably going to make it through this round, to be entirely honest. I have no clue. Yep, see? Stupid hit. That was me being stupid. Um, but anyways guys, as you may notice, I will probably do a bunch of different segments where I use the green, red, and green again. Um, but so basically, summarize what I'm trying to mean is use the sides for cover, always try and dive onto your opponent, opponents because it can get a nice good combo and you won't be able to get hit for a while. Um, but there is also the cooldown of you getting up so they can hit you right then. But that was a very slim chance um, and that just happened there. Uh, this was a naked rush, and this is all what I do for naked rushes. As you can see, I have a good amount of money. Um, I don't know what we started off with, uh, but I'll probably leave a little stat on the left side right now because it, that seems to be pretty open. Um, so yes, the three row method, always stay to the sides. If you ever need to dodge, dodge up and down. I really, really want you guys to dodge because dodging helps you so much in this game. But anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you do not then I will kill you. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even know why I just said that, because I said that I wouldn't do it in the last episode, or a, an episode coming out on Mine Creek. Uh -huh. uh, but anyways, guys, yes, if you have any questions, please do make a comment. If you did like the video and it did help you out, please like the video. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful